Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle, and I am very happy to bring you a review of the 13th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. We're gonna do an unboxing because I just got it. We're gonna go over all the features, the bells, the whistles, and whatever other noises it might make. And we're gonna do a comparison to some of the earlier Sonic Screwdrivers. Be right back. Before we continue, just a reminder to show your fandom love and subscribe. Click the button and the bell so you never miss a thing. So this Sonic Screwdriver is the San Diego Comic-Con version. So I'm gonna go through it and I don't imagine it's very different from the generally released version. And if there are any changes, they are cosmetic and I will do a video on those, don't worry. But I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. I was saving that for you guys. So it's in this display case, which is gonna be different from the plastic container that it will come in when you get the general release. And I have scissors. And here it is, the Sonic screwdriver. Now it comes with one of those nice little pull tabs so it doesn't waste the batteries while in transit. Just overall looking at it, it is an interesting design. It looks a lot more organic. I've heard people refer to it as scrap metal. It might be a little scrap metal, but it does look a lot different than previous versions of the Sonic Screwdriver. So it doesn't seem to extend. It has two buttons, one on the bottom and one on the top. If you consider this the top and this the bottom. It's pretty lightweight and it's kind of curved to the hand, so it's kind of easy to hold and aim. So that's kind of an improvement. And one thing you'll notice is that it has some translucent glass to diffuse the light all the way down the Sonic screwdriver, which most of our previous screwdrivers, in fact, I can't think of any that actually had lights on the side. They were pretty much confined to the tip area. 12 so it's a little longer, but it still was confined to that area. This has it all the way down the side. And let's see what it looks like. Very cool. A different color than previous Dr. Screwdrivers. Um, it's actually kind of reminiscent of the color of the laser screwdriver for the Master. I wonder if that has anything to do with this. Probably not. So it does pop pretty well on both sides and on the bottom. So, so far, so good, pretty interesting. We'll try to see if it has some additional sounds. So let's try twice. This one does not appear to have additional sounds. Now, I actually did see a review on the general release one already. I don't know how we got it before it's generally released. I've pre-ordered mine and it seemed to have a different sound for a second press. So maybe they use different electronics for the San Diego one, but still so far, so cool. And again, when we get the generally released one, we will do a review on that and a comparison. So the top button. You can play tunes with it, but it's pretty monotone. It does have the bottom button. So let's give that a shot. Well, that's kind of neat. An entirely different sound and it's rotating in the front. That's very cool. It just seems to have the same exact sound on the bottom, no matter how many times you press it. It's very cool. I did, like I said, watch someone else's review on the general one and it seemed to have some additional sounds. So tune in for that video. Overall, I like the heft of it. It is a very organic looking screwdriver. I'm very curious to find out how the doctor comes about getting the screwdriver and if the TARDIS is similarly going to be redesigned. This is a cat. Luckily I speak cat. So a very cool sonic screwdriver. I know some people were very concerned. They thought it was ugly. And you know, to them maybe it is. I think it's a definite change and I'm not objecting to it. Now I do want to do a size comparison. Here is the 12ths next to the 13ths and the 12ths is definitely 
longer. As is 11s. And of course, 11s can get much longer. I don't know if it says something about their confidence. Are they compensating? Now, it's slightly longer than the 10th slash 9th Doctor's sonic screwdriver when the 10th Doctor is not extended. When extended, the 10th Doctor does win at length. And comparing to like the 8ths, the 8ths is slightly longer, as is 4, 5, and 3s. So there you have it, the new 13th Doctor sonic screwdriver. I do like it. I will be doing a comparison. I would suggest, of course, getting the general release one. The San Diego Comic-Con one is kind of limited. I really like the underside button. So a very cool piece. Definitely a great addition to the collection. So I definitely recommend picking this up when it's available. It's on pre-sale on a lot of different sites. You may notice I have a very cool shirt. This is also on Amazon. Link is down in the description if you want to get one of these. Just a little preview, we have some additional items being shipped to us. Even as we speak, they're speeding across the Atlantic for some additional Doctor Who props that we'll be going over. Unless they're lost in transit. Please don't be lost in transit. We will have some new videos for you in the very near future. All kinds of new Doctor Who props. What could they be? You'll have to wait to find out. As always, thanks for watching our videos. There's a subscribe button down there. You can click on that and you can click the bell to get notifications when we have new videos, like the new Doctor Who ones. Plus there's some more videos over here. Feel free to watch. And we hope to see you next time. And as always, have fun and cosplay on.